How long you lived in Orangeburg County? Um, separated when my mom and dad separated basically my whole life. Have you ever been arrested for anything before? Yes, ma'am. What? Um, criminal sexual conduct, which was dropped to um, contributing to the delinquency. Um, since 2009. Um, you have a shoplifting here. Yes, ma'am. That was my very first, very first charge I ever got. So I'm not bragging about it. I just, yes, ma'am. Sorry. Um, you know, was this CSC? The original charge with the same victim as your co-defendant. Um, I don't understand. What, how'd you ask? Um, that? was this criminal sexual conduct, which was later reduced to contributing to the delinquency of a minor, with the same victim as um, Mr. Hughes? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You also have a criminal domestic violence offense in 2011, yes, and you were convicted of that. Yes, ma'am. I accepted the charges. I just dropped it, but I just went ahead to state once the state picked it up. I okay, just um, just I'm just telling you what's on your record. Okay, you don't have to you don't have to respond. She isn't present due to the fear of her safety. Again, as the arresting officer, she did state that, and from my victim, she says that she knows the suspect personally and has known him for years, and pretty much did really consider him to be her family. He did violate her. He did violate her trust. This is coming from my victim. She is in fear for her life, not only for herself, but for her daughters and her son. She does have a 17-year-old daughter that she does have fear for. As you have read, Your Honor, that he does have priors that pretty much can contribute to not only as being a danger to not only herself, but to the community as well. And I'm asking, Your Honor, if you can actually deny his bond simply because he has a warrant that's outstanding, that he hasn't, even though he's saying he has pretty much responded and reported to. Do you know that for a fact? No, ma'am, I do not. But okay, let's don't talk about it then. Yes, ma'am, but that's just something that I saw that's on his rap sheet that I consider as something that's considered a danger and a flight risk for my victim. And my primary concern, Your Honor, is, is pretty much just the safety for herself and her kids. I actually responded to the hospital and sat there for over three hours with my victim and she was just in tears the entire time. She had to constantly repeat her story over and over, and she pretty much was broken and distraught from everything because she felt like the suspect who she considered her family wouldn't pretty much do something like this to her. So she's just holding on to a lot, Your Honor, and she really is in fear of her life. Um, you don't leave the state. You're out of trouble and appear for your court date. And Rodriguez, you're going to yes, check on the um, that NCIC. Yeah, just want to thank you. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm going to put your bond uh, at twenty-five thousand cash or surety. Thank you, ma'am. With these conditions, this is your copy of the checklist. Would you like to talk with the bondsman? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Which ma one? Miss Payne. Miss Payne. Thank you, ma'am. Have a seat. Everything. Have a seat at that table right there. Um. 